Guys, listen, I was talking to Mary the other day, and we were talking about cats and dogs. And I wanted to tell you guys this, because I don't think I ever have. Um, <clears throat> listen, I think everybody pretty much calls cats, the cat people like cats because they're independent, and uh, they kind of go with the flow. Uh, they always do exactly what they want to do. They're never bent or taken aside to what you want to do, ever. They're kind of known for that. Now, I think dogs are, uh, everybody thinks the well, dogs are just all about pleasing you. That's what, you know, dog people, they, they, they want to please you. They're all about living for you. Well, I wanted to clarify this for you guys. Number one, yes, cats are like that. But all cats are kind of got this, uh, well, all, all of the pets do, but uh, cats are exceptionally high on the uh, healing attributes. As far as being on the walking on planet Earth, you know, the ones that walk on the Earth, cats are the strongest at healing. So if you are having any kind of physical issues, you really should have a cat. Uh, and they're very, very good at it. They'll come and sit in your lap and you can pet them. Uh, they have very strong, very good, very uh, defined vortexes of healing energy if you want to call on them. Now, with dogs, um, what they're doing is not trying to please you. That's what humans, humans see it through their egocentric uh, perception, and that's what they see. But what, what dogs are trying to do is they're trying to teach you how to play, how to have fun. Uh, a cat is trying to show you that how you can be independent and go with the flow, okay? Then they also are strong healers. Dogs um, are all about trying to teach you to play. That's their primary thing. In the water, it's the dolphins. Dolphins are huge healers and teach you how to play. Uh, but dolphins are both, actually. Okay? So cats are there to show you how to be independent, go with the flow, and don't do things that you don't want to do. Dogs are there to teach you how to play, how to just be played. How nothing, let nothing... Uh, get you down off the play mode. You know, your dog will play. It's got to be pretty well beaten up for a very long time to not be able to play. So it's there to treat, teach you to play. Also, all animals, insects, flowers, everything, uh, does have a lesson to teach you. And your higher selves or your pup friends will use plants and animals in events to answer your question or lead you in a way that you want to go, give you a hint. So if you see an insect over and over again repeatedly, then go to the internet, look up whatever insect it is, a uh, totem animal or something like that, and you can look up and see what the message is that comes with that being, whether it's a plant or an animal, all kinds of things. But if you're repeatedly seeing an animal, more than likely they're there to uh, draw your attention to something or teach you something, or you've asked your higher self or pub friends for assistance and what to do, uh, definitely they all use the plant and animal kingdom a lot. Uh, the Native Americans definitely understood that. And their records of what the um, totem animals mean is very, very accurate. So that's a general out you know, description of what basic cats and dogs do and why they're there. And uh, dogs are also healers. It's just cats are much more focused, much stronger healers. Dogs are, um, like, cats would be for long-term massive illness. You'd want a cat. A dog would be uh, better suited for, you know, less, less um, harsh uh, diseases. They would ease up a flu or a cold, something less all-encompassing, dramatic, chronic. Uh, cats are really good for the the hardcore ones. So, yeah, if you've got a chronic issue or a very bad issue, you should get a cat. Uh, get one that you're talking to. Don't worry about what it looks like. No matter where it came from, go out there and find the cat that is looking for you. Uh, same way with dogs or any other animal for that matter. Okay? All right. I'm going to stop it on that. And I'll uh, talk to you later, guys. Huge hugs. Bye now.